Seville Classics cabinets, along with some of the hardware, I should say hardware, but some of the other products they offer. The product line in comparison to some of the other uh, offerings in the same price point and same functionality are, it's a little bit more limited. Basically you get the choice between two cabinets, a little workstation, a little portable, a little tool drawer, worktop thing, a work table slash storage area underneath, and a just a standard work table. Uh, I was playing around with these for a little bit and the gauge of the metal in comparison to the Cobalts, the Gladiator, and the other ones I've had a chance to interact with, it did seem like it was higher. Uh, the stainless steel doors seem to be of the same caliber or maybe a hair less than the door gauge thickness of the other ones I've had a chance to feel out. Um, the drawer faces on these are kind of a little iffy. They're a little cheap, but the rest of the actual box part and the uh, quality of the ro roller bearings for the, the shelves is actually not bad. Uh, for $300, you can get a 72 inch high by 24 inches deep by, I always forget the last part, 48 inches wide, yeah, 40 inches wide, 72 tall, 24 deep, uh, for 300 bucks. Um, just to get the, the 18 inch deep version of the Gladiator equivalent for 48 inch wide, retail price, you're looking at 420 just to start. That's not keeping in mind any sale prices. So the cost of entry for this is pretty damn low. As far as the uh, 72 inch high by uh, 18 inch deep by, uh, what the hell is it? This is a 72 tall by 18 inch deep by 36 inches wide. Oh, geez, I'm off today. I wouldn't necessarily, I don't know if that, well, let's see if this is 72 inches tall and they're equivalent. So it's not truly on its own 72 inches, but it comes with casters. So where would this fall? Well, this kind of falls in between the RTA and the, the Premier line cabinet for Gladiator, for example, the cost of entry is $210. That's ridiculously low. I mean, if you wanted to take an RTA and slap some casters on it through Gladiator, you'd be spending $50 on top of the nearly 300 and some odd dollars just for the cost or price of entry for the similar product, which you know, I can see why some people have been saying that, you know, if you don't really care how it looks or you like the stainless steel look, this is the way to go. And I'm, I'm seeing that. Um, you look inside rather than the shelves being secured by uh, screws and bolts. It's actually secured with uh, uh, little slat slots that fit the shelf. I've uh, played with the metal a little bit. Uh, I mean, I don't have a, I don't have my little gauge with me to measure the thickness or anything like that. But it does feel comparable, if not stronger, as well as the finish. It actually feels extremely durable. This big guy comes in this box so it's not just one giant piece of metal it comes in two pieces as you can see if this thing can hold 600 pounds as advertised this is incredible in terms of the value for the money and realistically it's made in china so and so are the rta products of gladiator anyway so what does it matter If you don't care about the cosmetics or you like the stainless steel look, oh man, at this price, it's it's really hard to argue with this. Uh, this little shelf, I don't really know anything about that. Unfortunately, I can't hop up on the shelf and actually play around with it. Um, playing around with this, I mean, the body feels solid. I'm not really sure about the functionality or um, how well the casters roll, but it's pretty beefy. It seems to turn okay. I'm not really sure. Again, you open this up. The drawer's got some wobble. This feels a little thinner than the faces of the cabinets. But again, your cost of entry is $199. And you know, for products in this classification and price point, you're not a professional or you are a professional and you're just looking for a sacrificial lamb to do your work. So this would probably fall again in between an RTA and a, a Premier product 
and you get the wooden top with it for that price which is just nuts and I don't really know where this would fall in terms of comparability between Gladiator. Gladiator does not have anything that's like this. But, jam, again, 400 bucks for this? That's damn cheap. There's a work table. It's non-adjustable. 72 inches tall, 25 inches deep. And it's 37.5 inches tall. So it's pretty standard fare for workbench height. $209. Ugh. It... Again, you know, if you're looking for a breadth of diversity in terms of the products, you're not going to really find it here. Um, but, ugh, yeah, again, I mean, if you're looking just to get your feet wet or for or some cabinets and workbench products that are there to help you in your garage, Seville makes a pretty damn good argument in, as to why you should buy from them. Because, oh, man, yeah, I think the jumbo version of this and the Gladiator is even more expensive than 420 bucks, so it's like, holy moly. Uh, 